Good thank you so much for allowing us to demo the new Daphne brush oh. on you today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you start straightening, brushing your hair out okay. so that we don't entangle you or catch your knots in any of the brush bristles, thus breaking your hair or damaging your brush. Right. Okay. A lot of the time people come in and they start using the Daphne brush and they start just brushing their hair. What we're going to do is have you brush your hair first so that the process can be easier for you. All right. Okay. Right now we're using the Michelle Mercier brush for thick hair and it's used to detangle and take out some of the frizz for her. Now Michelle, I noticed you said when customers use the brush, sometimes they pull out the little uh, uh, bristles on the Daphne brush. Yes. So it's really important that you brush through first. and. Absolutely. Let's get rid of those tangles and not damage our new Daphne tool. All right. So what okay. we're going to do, RT has clean, dry, and now brushed hair, is Great. we're going to section off sections of the hair. As I said before, people in the past were just using these as a brush yep. very quickly and damaging their brush. Start it in sections. Okay. What you need to do is start at the top if they have hair that's not tangled, but if you have extremely curly hair and long hair, we're going to suggest that you start at the bottom and work the tangles out and then move your way out. Now there shouldn't be tangles, but with curly hair, we don't want to damage your hair or your brush again. So with RT, what we're doing is we're going to start at the base, hold some tension and slowly pull through her hair. We I do the zoom in on that as you get it right into the uh, deep into the brush there. Okay, so I'll section off awesome. part of her hair. Ritchie, you can't, this is your first time using this brush. Yes, right? yes. So you're getting the, the hair right deep into the brush and a nice slow pulling motion. Oh, that's, oh, you wouldn't believe this. And the shine that's, and the curve awesome. on the bottom is done strictly with the new Daphne brush. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, start up here. Now her hair is clean and dry and free of products other than a heat protectant. If she's using a heat protectant, please allow the hair to dry yep. before using the brush on it so that you don't create steam. Right. Awesome. Now, uh, Michelle, what do you say when people bring up price to you? I say that it's $300 Canadian. And if they have a problem with the price, we talk about the cost of expensive dryers and straightening irons, which can range between $50 and $300 to $500. Right. Okay, so, and then I mentioned that the Daphne brush is being sold through the States for $300 American, which is over $400 Canadian. Yep. And in the UK, I believe it's for over $580, yeah. and they are sold out as well. So we're exclusive this year in Canada. Which is fantastic. Everybody's asking me where they can get this brush. Yeah. Now okay. you mentioned also that you posted some pictures on uh, Facebook of a customer. I did. I have a girlfriend with extremely curly, kinky hair. Yeah. And with her hair, when it is curly, it goes to about here. Yeah. When it's straightened with a Daphne brush, it goes down to here. So you right. can imagine the curl in it. Yeah. So I did her hair in under 20 minutes. It takes her hairstylist about an hour. Yeah. She can do it for a couple of hours on her own yeah. at home. But when she uses a straightening iron, her hair is flat and it gets damaged. She loved this because when she goes to the salon, she pays over $150 just to get her hair done. Okay, just keep going. Um I'm going to flip your hair a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's, this is the nice thing about the Daphne brush. It's going to give you volume without flattening it to your head. Sorry about that. That's okay. So you've got some nice shine going on and that's what this brush is also doing for you. We're starting at the base. We're not only getting rid of the frizzies, but we're also giving you some added shine to it and straightening your hair. Awesome. Now, when you give the customer the Daphne brush to use, what do they often do with it? That you oh, a lot of the time, they just use this and brush their hair. Do you want to show me, if you were to pick up a brush, what you would normally do with it? You would just brush your hair. I would, yeah, just, I would probably yeah. just do that. Okay. And what happens with that is you're not getting proper heat transference, and it's not doing anything to your hair. Right. So by doing it slowly and with care and in sections, you're going to get the look that you need. Perfect. That's awesome. 
And uh, finally, if somebody's new to uh, brushing a woman's hair or doing a demo on a woman's hair. Oh, please practice without the heat on first and get really comfortable with them so that when you're demoing at the front of the store or in your beauty bay, that you're comfortable doing what you're supposed to be doing. Confidence is favorable. Great. <laughs> I'm going to try and get those pictures of your friend in the video. That Excellent. You had. And uh, one more thing, Michelle, you always talk about when when you're selling this. I always do. When we're straightening curly hair, we find that there's a lot of damage. I talk to them what they're shampooing with, what yeah. they're using in their hair, what kind of styling products they're using. And at that time, we talk about whether or not they're coloring their hair, if there's any damage. And I start talking about our WEN product lines. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Artie. That no was uh, phenomenal having you as part of our Thank you so much. Module. No problem.